Um, I, I um, occasionally knew? have a kettlebell in the baby seat. Yeah, he's, 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 he's a kettlebell <laughs> aficionado. See, That's if you followed thing. me on Instagram, you know that. But you don't, you don't follow me on Instagram. Uh-oh. So. Well, uh-oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of Instagram, though, like what I, ha- I have a love-hate inst- uh, relationship with Instagram because, because it's so fucking perfect. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, face- yeah, filters, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> like, fa- Facebook is where people go to <laughs> complain about stuff. Yes. Instagram is where you go to be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and it's I a little like exhausting that. sometimes, yeah, you know? Yeah, I, I like that And analogy. so, I, 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 like, once a month, I quit Instagram. I'm like, I can't handle you, Instagram. And then I, and then I crave Everybody's it and so I want it back. Here. Break up, then you get back to Right, color. exactly. Sounds... Do you find you have a, a love-hate relationship with any of, of this? Or that you're like, you know, I just, I spend too much time on you. I got to give you, know, you up for a day or something Yeah, like that. you know, I used to really care about it, but now I don't as much. Mm-hmm. It sounds really bad to you're say. You're accepting? That's great. Accept- it's your livelihood, <laughs> right? I get it. I think it's funny that it's so perfect because you know it's not. <laughs> yeah. But now, like, the thing on Instagram is, like, showing, like, how unperfect. Oh, I know. Perfect. Yeah, yeah exactly. Things oh, yeah. Are. But I'm even like, the unperfect is perfect. I know, it's exactly. I'm so perfectly unperfect, you know? <laughs> I always see the ones where it's like, here's with a filter, here's without. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's Same. so true. That is so true. I know. I mean, yeah. But you're, you're, you're accepting, you're like, I. Uh, well, Instagram is also like a super time warp. That's the other thing. Like you can be like, woo, 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 and then you look up and it's been five hours. Yes. Do you do that? Uh, uh, no, I used to, uh-huh. but I don't really spend that much. I mean, this is what I do. Like I'll post, I'll spend an amount of time like commenting back to people because it's important to me. Sure. Um, I don't really check DMs unless I have like a, you know, fit and five or something going on. But I don't really spend that much time on it. Hmm. You know, a lot of people when they hang out with me, you know, I am that person that like, I'm present. Oh, that's great. Um, and they'll they'll even say, like, I'm actually shocked you weren't like on your phone. Like they'll be on their phone more than me. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? Hmm. But is that is that okay, that I, I like that. Is that is that something that you really intentionally do? Or have you had yeah. periods where it's like a skill you had to learn? No, I intentionally do it. I have probably two hundred and twenty unread messages. And that is because when I'm with people, which I am always with people usually. I'm present. Mm-hmm. And so then people get mad at me like, you didn't text me back. And I'm like, but it's because, like, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to be present when I'm with Play people. Play with the friends that are here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And yeah. When you, like, when, you, when you go to sleep, I'm, phone out of the room, all that sort of stuff? Yeah, I just, I turn it on sleep mode or night mode and, and yeah. You're not available. I like this. Actually, that was one of my earliest mentors. They do not have the phone around them on the weekends. Yeah. I love mm-hmm. it. Yeah. 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 It's good. People get mad at me too. And I'm yeah. like, oh. I don't even know where my phone yeah, is. Yeah, if you ask anyone, I'm a terrible texter. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> but it's because I'm not on my phone. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, sorry, I'm so... And then I'll see him. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I didn't text you back. I, you know what I mean? Because right. then, yeah. So well, being but present I mean, is important. It's social media. It's ravenous beasts, right? Yes. They want as much Gotta of you as they can possibly yep. yes. get, right? It's mm-hmm. a trap. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but they also like... It's it's totally up to you to decide exactly how much am I going to share? How yeah. much am I going to let you in? We had a, a woman named Cassandra Martin on the podcast who has well, whatever like two million followers. Oh yeah, she doesn't post a word. It's, yep, it's her working out. Just and it's, her. Uh, yeah, wow. and I asked her like, "Why?" And she's like, "Man, I don't really feel like I have that much to say." You're here. You want to see me work out? That's great. That's inspiration. I don't need to say anything. Wow. But you you share a little bit more than that. Like, how yeah. do you, how do you find that line? Yeah, I like to. Well, I started really writing. On Instagram, like when I first started writing, like posting like motivational photos, <laughs> um, writing, yeah, I would write like motivational captions mm-hmm. um, and that because it just really helped me connect to the audience to be like, to really talk about real life crap, you know, like mm-hmm. you're going through, everyone's been through hardship and trials and tribulations and how you can use that for like fuel to get where you are today. So I, I really love to write on mm-hmm. my photos because it really helps connect with the audience. So well, I actually like it. No, that makes sense. It's therapeutic yeah. to me and too. This is something I tell I tell people all the time. Like everybody has to be a writer now. Yeah. Like, once upon a time, you didn't you didn't say, "Oh, I'm a writer. I'm a this. I'm a that." But everybody's a writer. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Was that was that hard for you? Did you like? All right, I have to I have to get like this. This is too much. This is I'm sharing too much. Or you have to practice that skill too. No, it's so strange. I just when I I'll write it or I'll just think of something on a day that I don't have a post and I'll write it in my notes because I'll be feeling something or, you know what I mean? Or maybe my friend's going through something and I'll write about it and I'll just write about it in my notes. And then I'm like, sometimes I'll just gravitate towards like posting this. And then it's kind of weird because then I'll have like so many people be like, oh my gosh, like I'm going through this right now. Or, oh my gosh, I can really relate to that. So I don't know. I just kind of let like the universe kind of like 
okay, post this today. Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know what I mean? Someone like needs to hear this. It's so strange, but that's kind of how I do it. 